This next tutorial is going to be really important for your WordPress site because this is going to allow you to choose the theme that you're going to use for your WordPress. Right now, let's take a look at what I've got here. This one is the automatic default theme that shows up. And it has my picture, it's got my links down here, what they are so far, my search, comments, archives, and all of these can be adjusted. But let's say that I don't like this theme in particular. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to the top of my dashboard where it says WordPress Tutorial Hub, and I'm going to click on that. And it's going to bring me to my front page. And then I'm going to go down to Themes. And the theme is what makes it look like it looks. Right now, this is 2011. 2011 is the default theme that WordPress gives you when you start. It allows you to customize your widgets, menus, theme options, header, and background. But there's also another 2010 down here that I can use, or I can install a theme. So let's say that I want to look for a theme by keyword. And I'm going to put in tutorial, just because I want to see what happens when people have designed themes that are done for teaching. And this is going to show me a few that come up with that particular keyword. Or I can go by author or tag. So let's say that I want to go ahead and pick one of those two that came up. I can also go into featured. And these are just a whole bunch of different WordPress themes that are featured. There are recently updated and there's also newest. So I'm just going to pick this one. It's called Catchbox. And I'm going to click install. It's installing my theme and it's done. So I'm going to click Live Preview. And this is going to show me what my site will look like with this theme. If I decide I like what I've got, I'm going to click on Save and Activate. So now when I go into my WordPress page, the new theme is going to show up. So I've got Home and Sample Page just like before, but I can go ahead in and I can change all kinds of things about this page. So let's go ahead in and take a look at the widgets that it's got installed. Widgets are just little programs that allow you to have certain things on the side. For instance, you can see here my main sidebar so far has a search, recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories, and metadata. Sure enough, here's my search, comments, archives, categories, and metadata. If I decide that I don't want to use any of these, I can always click and drag them out. But I'm going to leave them there for the moment so I can show you how to use them later. It also has menu options. Now right now I don't have a menu in here, but I can create a custom menu just by clicking it into menu name and click create menu. And it will allow me to start by clicking my primary menu, add my secondary menu, and my footer menu if I want. And then when I go into here, let's take a look at the theme options. The theme options right now will allow me to select a color, whether I want my content on the left or on the right whether I want to show an excerpt or full comment, and whether I want to do a feed direct or if I want to put in a custom CSS style. So right now, let's say I want to change this to black, and I want to make it so my link color is orange. You can click that and change it to any color you'd like it to be, by the way, and click on Save Changes. Now I can go into my Tutorial Hub, do a refresh, and now you can see I've got the black and gray theme rather than the white theme, and it shows all of my links in orange. So there are lots of ways that you can go in here and change any of these options. For my featured slider, I can click here to, to edit, and I can put a column one, and my column one is going to be my posts, and I can also put featured columns two, three, and four for my different posts. I can change my social links, and this is a great place to put in your links for your Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, and any other social media that you use. We've got our webmaster tools, and this allows us to do, say, our Google site verification, Yahoo site, Bing site verification, etc. You can choose your header. You can either keep it the way it is, or you can put in another picture. And the picture should basically be the size and shape of your header. And I'm just going to go ahead in and just choose a random picture and put that in. And I'm going to upload it and crop and publish or I can choose one of these pictures. I can remove my header image. I can change what my header text is going to say or restore my original header text and click Save. And I'm going to go ahead and refresh again and see what happens. Now, you may want to make this big enough that it does the entire page. But if so, you're going to have to make sure that it has to be 300 by 125 pixels 
to get it to fit across correctly. You can also change your background. And the background can be a picture that you like, or it can be a background color. So let's say that I want to make it a pale pink. I'll save it and then go in, refresh, and now my background is pale pink. So as you can see, you can really do a lot of personalization just by using a pre-made theme. Now let's take a look at the editor. The editor is going to allow us to change our PHP and HTML files. Again, if you're not quite sure what you're doing with this, you'll want to stay out of this section because just one misplaced comma and you'll blow out your entire website. So for the moment, if you're just starting, just start with your themes and work from there. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will talk to you the next time. Thank you.